The global semiconductor industry finds itself at a critical juncture. United States sanctions, aimed at curtailing China's rapid technological advancement, have become a defining feature of this landscape. These measures represent a formidable economic and technological barrier. Some reports estimate the cumulative impact of these restrictions as a 320 billion pound sanction wall. This environment, however, is fostering intense innovation as nations strive for technological sovereignty. Semiconductors are the bedrock of the modern digital world. They power everything from smartphones and computers to advanced medical equipment and critical infrastructure. Control over semiconductor technology translates directly into significant economic leverage and geopolitical influence. Consequently, the ongoing struggle for dominance in this sector is more than just a commercial competition. The primary objective of the US-led sanctions is unambiguous. They seek to restrict China's access to the cutting-edge technologies required for advanced chipmaking. A particular focus has been placed on extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. ASML, a Dutch company, holds a de facto monopoly on the production of these highly sophisticated EUV machines. Despite the severity of these international restrictions, China has demonstrated remarkable resilience. Key Chinese technology companies with Huawei at the forefront have responded with a determined push to develop their own solutions. Huawei, a global telecommunications and consumer electronics giant, found itself as a principal target of the stringent U.S. sanctions. Prior to these restrictions, the company heavily relied on international partners for its advanced semiconductor needs. The imposition of sanctions had an immediate and severe impact on Huawei's operations. Its once booming smartphone division faced enormous challenges in sourcing high-end processors. This disruption forced Huawei to rethink its supply chain and long-term strategy. In this challenging environment, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMIC, emerged as a crucial domestic partner for Huawei. SMIC is China's largest and most advanced chip foundry. A strategic collaboration quickly formed between Huawei and SMIC. Their joint efforts became central to China's broader strategy of mitigating the impact of foreign restrictions. Despite significant hurdles, Huawei and SMIC embarked on an ambitious journey. They focused on developing innovative workarounds and pushing the known limits of DUV technology. Their resilience sent a strong signal to the international community. Deep Ultraviolet DUV Lithography is a well-established technology used in semiconductor manufacturing. China, through companies like SMIC, had acquired a significant number of DUV machines before the most severe sanctions. These existing DUV tools became the cornerstone of their strategy to continue advanced chip development. Chinese engineers began to employ sophisticated techniques often referred to as DUV tricks. Central to this approach is multi-patterning. Techniques such as self-aligned double patterning SADP, and self-aligned quadruple patterning SAQP, became critical. Huawei and SMIC successfully managed to produce 7 nanometer chips, most notably the Kirin 9000S processor. This achievement demonstrated that viable high-performance chips could be manufactured domestically. More recently, reports indicate they are further refining these DUV processes to produce 5 nanometer class chips. However, this DUV-based approach is not without its drawbacks. Huawei is reportedly constructing three advanced chip fabrication plants, FABs, in Shenzhen. This strategic initiative signifies a major investment in bolstering China's domestic manufacturing capabilities. These new facilities are intended for sophisticated chip production. The primary rationale behind this investment is to reduce reliance on external foundries and foreign-controlled technology. By establishing state-of-the-art domestic fabs, Huawei can create a controlled environment for developing and scaling up its innovative DUV-based manufacturing processes. This is not simply an effort to replace lost manufacturing capacity from overseas partners. Instead, it represents a determined attempt to build a world-class, vertically integrated semiconductor ecosystem within China's borders. These fabs are expected to house advanced tooling and employ thousands of skilled engineers and technicians. The intricate process of designing modern semiconductors relies heavily on sophisticated electronic design automation, or EDA software. Recognizing their critical importance, U.S. sanctions have increasingly targeted China's access to leading EDA solutions. Major international EDA vendors have had to restrict sales and support to certain Chinese entities, 
including Huawei. This creates another significant hurdle in China's path to semiconductor independence. Without access to the latest EDA tools, designing complex high-performance chips becomes exponentially more challenging. In response, China has intensified its efforts to develop a robust indigenous EDA industry. This is a national priority, with significant investment being channeled into local EDA startups and research institutions. However, this is an arduous and time-consuming undertaking. Established international EDA platforms have benefited from decades of continuous development. Progress is being made in China's domestic EDA sector, with some local tools beginning to emerge. However, achieving feature parity and the same level of performance and reliability as the global leaders remains a formidable task. The launch of the Kirin 9000S system on chip was a watershed moment. This 7 nanometer class processor signaled China's remarkable ability to produce relatively advanced semiconductors despite being cut off from EUV lithography. Building on this success, Huawei and SMIC have aggressively pushed forward, aiming for even more advanced manufacturing nodes. As of May 2025, reports indicate they are now capable of producing 5 nanometer class chips. The new Kirin X90 is believed to be a product of this advancement. SMIC is reportedly establishing dedicated 5 nanometer production lines in Shanghai, specifically for Huawei's needs. Huawei has officially commenced research and development for 3 nanometer chip production. To achieve this with DUV lithography, Huawei plans to employ even more sophisticated techniques. Huawei is also reportedly developing its own EUV lithography machine. The escalating U.S. sanctions against China's semiconductor industry are creating a new global operating environment. This shifting landscape is compelling major U.S. and international technology companies to adapt their strategies. A notable trend is the development of China-ready AI chips by leading U.S. companies such as NVIDIA and AMD. These firms are designing modified versions of their chips to comply with current U.S. export regulations. The aim is to continue serving the vast and lucrative Chinese market. This adaptation by Western firms is occurring alongside another significant development. Chinese technology companies and AI computing centers are increasingly looking to domestic alternatives for critical components like GPUs. This trend further fuels China's drive for semiconductor self-sufficiency. It creates new opportunities for emerging Chinese chip designers. While China's advancements in semiconductor manufacturing are impressive, the journey towards true self-sufficiency is laden with substantial challenges. The innovative workarounds demonstrate ingenuity and determination, but they also come with inherent limitations and costs. A primary concern is the issue of manufacturing yields. Each additional patterning step increases the probability of defects, leading to a lower percentage of functional chips per wafer. Low yields directly translate into higher per-chip costs. Beyond yields, the reliance on intricate DUV processes for cutting-edge chips also leads to higher overall production costs. The increased number of manufacturing steps and the greater complexity of process control all contribute to a more expensive end product. Huawei's parallel development of its own LDP-based EUV technology is a clear acknowledgement of this reality. China's response to the formidable semiconductor sanctions has been a comprehensive, multi-pronged national endeavor. It encompasses aggressive advancements in DUV lithography workarounds, substantial investment in new domestic fabrication plants, a concerted push to develop an indigenous EDA tool ecosystem, and the ambitious pursuit of homegrown EUV lithography technology. This holistic strategy underscores a profound commitment to achieving technological independence. The ramifications of China's determined drive for semiconductor self-sufficiency extend far beyond its borders. One potential outcome is a gradual bifurcation of technology standards and supply chains. This could lead to increased regionalization or spur a new wave of global innovation. A successful realization of China's semiconductor ambitions would undoubtedly lead to significant shifts in global technological power dynamics. The sanction wall appears to have inadvertently acted as a powerful catalyst, accelerating China's indigenous development programs.